Hey everyone, so this is part two of a three-part video. In my previous video, we talked about how to set up VMware ESXi, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to install and configure PFSense for router and firewall capabilities, and then also install Windows for our domain controller. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to set up our virtual machines, we need to be in the virtual machines tab here. Click on create. We're going to create a new virtual machine. We're going to give the virtual machine a name. In this case, I'm going to name mine PFSense. We won't change the compatibility, but we do need to change the OS family and version. So the family is going to be other and the version is going to be free BSD 12 or later versions, 64 bit. So these are the settings that you need if you're setting up PFSense. We'll click next, next. All right, so we need to ensure that we have both network adapters added. Right now we have a LAN network adapter. We need to go ahead and add that WAN network adapter that we did in the last video. So it's gonna have access to both of these network adapters. And then finally, we need to choose the ISO file and we'll click on PFSense. All right, so go ahead and click on next and then finish. Okay, so next we need to actually install PFSense. So we're gonna click on the virtual machine here, PFSense, go ahead and power on. Then what you need to do is click on console, go to a launch remote console. Now, if you don't have this option, you need to click on download VMRC. So that way you can download the software that allows you to remotely connect to your virtual machine. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna click on launch remote console. Okay, so we're gonna quickly walk through the installation here. We'll accept, we'll click on install, continue with default, auto. All right, so at this point, we're going to hit no, and then we're going to reboot it. Okay, so when it asks you if you want to set up VLANs, we're going to click on no. So type N and hit enter. All right, here it's asking us to name the WAN interface. We have the choice of VMX0 or VMX1. So if we look up here, VMX0, the MAC address ends in C4, and then the other one, X1, ends in CE. So if we go back to our console here, go under networking, click on either WAN or LAN. I'm going to click on WAN. And then we can see down here the MAC address is CE. So we know that for the WAN interface, for the internet interface, the MAC address ends in CE. So if we go back into PFSense, it wants to know the WAN, which is CE, which is VMX1. So I'm going to type in VMX1, hit enter. Now for the LAN, that's going to be the other one, VMX0. It's going to have you verify. We're going to hit Y. Now it's setting those interfaces up. All right, so at this point, our PFSense virtual machine is fully configured. If you see here the LAN interface, 192.168.1.1, I'm actually going to change this because when I set up my domain controller later, my lab environment's gonna be 10.10.10.whatever. .10 so we're gonna change that. So to change that IP address, I'm gonna click on two, and then we're gonna change it for the LAN, so two again. And then the new IP address is going to be 10.10.10.0 slash 24. We'll go ahead and click enter. And then for a LAN address, press enter for none. Enter the new LAN IPv6 address or press enter for none. I'm going to hit enter. And then do we want to enable DHCP? No. Why? Because the domain controller that we're setting up later will have DHCP. And then this is asking us if we want to revert to HTTP for the web interface. I'm going to click on no. And then this is letting us know that within our lab network, if we go to 10.10.10.0, we're going to be able to go to the web console for PFSense. So you have two choices with PFSense, is you can stay in this command line interface and configure it, or you can go to this web address within your lab and access the web console. Okay, so PFSense is fully configured. As you can see, the IP address range has changed, so we're good to go. Now we can go back into our... VMware console, and then we can go ahead and set up our domain controller. So to do that, we're gonna to go to create a VM, and you're gonna do the same thing. Now, I'm assuming you remember the steps for PFSense. We're gonna do the same thing for Windows Server. We just wanna make sure that we select Windows here, 
and then we select the right server version so mine's 2016 or later and then one thing here for the enable windows virtualization based security i would enable that if you have a tpm chip essentially what this is is this allows us to do a couple of different cool security features within windows server and within windows 10. so i'm going to fast forward through all of this now real quick one thing here is we're going to leave the network adapter as lan do not add the wan network adapter Okay, when we get to this point, we're going to click into it. We're going to power it on. We're going to connect to it. Okay, so Windows Server is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's just one thing I need to point out. So we're going to quickly hit install now. So right here, we want to ensure that we select the data center evaluation desktop experience. If you don't select desktop experience, you're going to have a command line interface for your server. So that's the only thing you need to do. Go ahead and click on next, and then the rest of it is pretty straightforward. It's gonna install Windows, and then when Windows is done installing, we'll follow back up again on the Windows Server desktop.